Greetings, and welcome to Pyanodon Red. We're stuck here on an alien planet, tasked with the enormous trouble of getting out of here. I'm Catherine of Sky, and welcome to a brand new series of Factorio. Um, we're going to play this game, and I don't know if we're going to play it for very long, but we'll see. Let's first go to the map setup, and I'll show you what I've chosen. First of all, let's go over the mods. Um, as you could probably tell by the landscape, we have the wonderful Alien Biomes by Irondel. Um, I've been itching, itching, itching to play with that mod for a long time now, and I've just been waiting for the right series to use that on. Um, the main mods for this series are going to be Pyanodon's Coal Processing, Fusion Energy, and industry. These are major mods that change the progress of the game. They change research and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting to play this. I've played a test games and um, it was interesting enough that I wanted to continue, but it is quite grindy in many ways, but we're going to see if we can mitigate that somewhat. Uh, to accessorize with this mod, we have the deadlocks, compact loaders, crafting machines, and stacking belt boxes. Those will help us with the compression problems. That's mostly why I haven't started a new series yet is because I've been waiting for the devs to fit, fix compression, give us more options. Um, but these are an interesting modded option that we're going to try out. They're kind of fun. We have, of course, auto deconstruct, which deconstructs miners when they are finished with their patch underneath. We have Factorio NEI, which is a very handy tool that tells you what different... Um, products are used for, how to create them, different recipes, that kind of thing. We have the mini loaders in case we want to load things onto trains. Uh, instead of using a regular loader uh, type functionality, it uses a functionality of, a, of an inserter. And it's very, very fast and creates less UPS usage than the other loaders. Um, we have Module Inserter, which is another nice quality of life thing, as well as Upgrade Builder and Planner by Clonin. I love that mod. I hope it becomes vanilla. And we have uh, Squeak Through. We've got Nanobots. Uh, or I should, guess I should say, first of all, we have Tiny Start. Um, this is the version that uh, was created by Church Organist that doesn't have any extra stuff. However, as you'll see, we need some help. I do not want to chop that many trees. <laughs> And that's not just a regular thing. This mod is not, it should not be called coal processing. It should be called wood processing because the entire mod revolves around uh, wood, especially in early game. Uh, later it might re rely on coal, but um, we'll get there. And to supplement, we have nanobots by the wonderful Nexula. Um, I'm going to want to have extra bots because Tiny Start comes with, I think, 20 of them and they are not replaceable until we get to that technology but anyway those are our mods now uh, we're going to go to the map settings i started off with real world just to make some of these resource settings here um to be very low frequency i changed the rest to very low size very big and or big for some of the funky new ones and also uranium is big uh, crude oil is big because otherwise it's just huge. Uh, richness on all of them is going to be very good. Terrain settings, mostly I left it to be um, the native to alien biomes. The only ones I changed were water to be very low, size big. Starting area doesn't matter. Trees, normal, medium, regular. Enemy bases, none. I find biters annoying, so we're not going to play with them. Anyway, advanced settings. I've turned off pollution since we're not having biters. Same with evolution and enemy expansion. Hopefully the less pollution or none pollution will uh, have better effects on our UPS. It won't tax our UPS since it's not necessary anyway. So anyway, I got a really cool map and let's go play. By the way, the map exchange string and the mod pack um, download will be available. Just look in the description below. It should be linked there. Right, so we have this interesting world. The whole world really revolves around uh, trees, a lot of trees. Oh, did I make the mistake of not have, oh, there's some trees here. We can probably go and collect those. Let's just make sure we have <clears throat> our bots able to get some of these things. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what do we have here in tiny armor? We have a miniature microfusion reactor, uh, two personal roboports, a shield, and two batteries. We won't really need the shield at all. <clears throat> so 
What is that yellow thing? I didn't really want to get these. I thought they were like trees. We need trees. We need lots of wood. Yes, I am actually harvesting wood because we need it. I'm going to let these guys have fun in this area and then we're going to look at the research that we have here. So the first thing we need to do is start up basic uh, iron and copper processing like uh, like we normally do. And then we're going to get on to some of the interesting things that we're going to make here. We have a substance called fawoge. I think that's probably a decent pronunciation. But this is going to power our red science. We can't even make red science yet unless we make that plantation. What a beautiful red tree. I'm going to go look at this tree. This is just lovely. I might use this for the screenshot. I think we will. I think I think we're going to stand next to the tree, say cheese, and selfie ourselves. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Bots are coming back. Let's just collect them. Oh my goodness, I have no... I don't even have an iron axe yet. Let's make a couple for ourselves. We can just mine our robots happily. Happily dappily. There we go. All right, and they're going to keep on going. But we don't really need them right now. We just need to make some iron. We have a nice uh, resource patch here where everything's pretty close together. I need to find the coal. Okay, that's down there. That's just fine. But yeah, we're gonna, we need iron desperately. There we go. Oops, let's just put half in there. And that'll get us iron going. Very important to get this stuff. And now that we have a lot of stone, we can make some furnaces. I'm just gonna make all of them, because why not? Hey bots, sorry about the darkness. We will be putting lights out uh, so we can see stuff. That's gonna be pretty helpful. Let's get the rock. <clears throat> this may be, it's probably faster I think than just gathering stone from the stone pile. All right guys, let's go. Let's grab all the stuff. And again, craft all we can. Ha there's a lot of hand crafting. <clears throat> Especially in the beginning because of <laughs> the research. All right, T, we're going to get automation first. That must be our first research. But oh my gosh, I, uh, I started my test game with having zero robots. I was chopping so many trees by hand. It just wasn't even funny. So at least we'll have some to come back to here. <clears throat> Pardon my throat. Oh my goodness. All right, bots, let's go. My my battery is not charged, but I'm thinking 150 kilowatts. These need, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we have enough wood to start off. <clears throat> um, but we do need to start making wood into wood. The problem with... This mod is that it creates this 15 second crafting time for wood. I think it's because the mod author really, really wants you to use some of their items. Like for example, there's a wood processing unit um, that makes it a lot faster. Uh, but I find that very annoying. I'm gonna make Another one of these. Oh my god. All right, get rid of this wood. Make four of these. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to make these guys go on coal. Okay. Okay. So our coal is way, way down here. That's okay though, it'll be fine. Uh, one thing that I have observed in this particular mod set is that you really, really need to, um, to have space. We're gonna have a massive liquid bus. We're also gonna have a pretty decent main bus. 
because there are many, many products and I haven't played this mod. I've, I've only played a little bit up to about blue science and note green science is very complicated with all of the different things going on. So I don't know exactly what's required with stuff. However, I'm not running uh, totally blind here, so it should be relatively okay. Can I make another one of these? No. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Come on. Let's go back up. Get more plates. I don't know why I came down there without having that fourth one. But yeah, the, the first building backbones of every build is going to be your iron and copper, at least for this thing. Okay. Here we go. Let's get one of these. And if you've never seen this particular structure before, and by the way, all the stuff that I'm building right now is vanilla. Um, if you've never seen this particular structure before, this is just a self-feeding coal generator. And you can uh, control click on these guys just to take the coal out of them. So they feed into each other. It never ends unless they all fill up. And you just come by and, and, uh, and take some coal for your uh, next assemblies. Okay. This is starting off really well. Okay, we need more coal. Uh, I also want to get some, yeah, I'll get two of these guys. Do we have, I don't even want to make a wooden chest because it's so, it takes such a long time. Um, let's make these, these guys, and then I want to make lots of wood. Just some, quite a lot. Just have that crafting in the inventory because we are going to need uh, power poles before we get to anything else. We're going to need electricity. Okay, there we go. Grabbed more of that. And we'll go ahead and feed these guys. And then our next ones are going to be on copper. We're not really going to need, uh, we're going to, we're not going to need many of these on copper. Uh, I'm thinking about just putting two of them and that should be plenty enough. Okay. But yeah, wood crafting is such a pain in the socks. It's a pain in the ax, man. Um, it, it, it's just, it ruins just like your whole life. It, it's, it's very annoying. <laughs> I hate that. I really hate that. Um, that it, that it messes that whole thing up. Can I make one of those things? <clears throat> I need copper cable. All right. I don't have any copper yet, but, um, let's make a couple burners. Can we, yeah, we go. We'll make five. And for now we will get back to wood production. Jeez. Okay, where are they? There they are, lovely. Yeah, just two. And it's okay to put them in a convenient spot, like at the edge, so it doesn't mess up the middle when we get to adding our uh, electric miners. Oh, there's the Eleonora, hello. Greetings, my pet. That was the song of the Eleonora, if you were wondering. She has, I don't know what she brought, maybe the squirrel. All right, looks like we need more fuel. Let's extend our coal making structure further with more burner mining drills. And we can also start to make some power poles and these structures for electricity as well. Oops, rotate this one, there we go. Nice. We want to keep those machines running as well as possible. And we have stone. I think we'll li limit that to two stacks or two rows. I mean, not two stacks. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. Now we're getting some decent plates here. Okay, um, I think first let's look after our power structures. Let's make 10 boilers and 10 steam engines. Now the normal ratio is, twin, is uh, 1 to 2, i.e. we would need 20 steam engines, but we just don't have enough uh, iron at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can make some power poles as well. Good, good, good. 
when I first started playing my practice game, I had no idea about how much, um, <laughs> how much I would need to, to rely on the wood and stuff. It's uh, interesting. Very interesting. All right. I think we're going to have our, Oh God, this is thick stuff. Oh, it's just decoration. It's not trees. Okay. It's all good. It's fantastic. I'm going to start our steam engine column here. I think Oops, there's a tree here. Okay, good. I'm just gonna lay these guys out. Okay, and then we're gonna need pipes to go in between. But of course, lots of steam engines as well. Oh, no, no, no. Make sure that the uh, steam engine end kind of coincides with the steam part of the boiler. The reason I leave spaces, by the way, is so that it can fit the uh, power poles in here. Makes it nicer. Let's get rid of these guys, and then we need one of these, and then the rest of those. Let's go and get some coal. Seems like we don't have a lot of coal so far. I need to build a, uh, a radar and start scanning for coal. Oh boy. Okay, this crafting wood is not cool. We're not doing the crafting wood thing right now. No, thank you, game. I'm going to build one of those uh, wood structures. Wood making stuff thing structures. <laughs> uh, it's called, yeah, the wood processing unit. All right, we're going to need more iron just for that. Of course we need more iron. Of course, of course. And let's give these guys some more... Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Better. Better, better, better. All right. Make a wood processing unit so that we can at least process some wood. That may have sounded obvious, but you never can tell. Now here, we really just need these guys to be out here. So that it'll cover both steam engines. Okay, nice. And we will get our pipes brought along. Is that? Oh, it's actually fitting there. I thought the tree would get in the way. Funky. Now, I would like to also add a couple of burner inserters. We need exactly 10. We also need a pump, offshore pump, for these guys, because we are soon to fill these with the coal from the, um, the coal mine. I'm gonna need to craft belts as well. Okay, let's get these going. All right. Oh, that's a nice spot. Connect this up with the pipe. Let's put this guy where it properly could go. This one can go there. Blueprint book. I don't need this. This is kind of funny that it has a blueprint book. It's like I never use those in my inventory or very rarely, I should say. All right. This kind of is going to go there. Nice, nice. I'm going to do this this way. Well, maybe actually not. I'm thinking and anticipating one, two, three. Okay, so this is going to go here. And we'll just have the robots pick up the detritus here. It's like, whoops, sorry, robots. It'll be fine. There we go. All right, and that's going to go all the way. Hmm, maybe I should snake it down this way. That would probably be better, like right behind this one, which is much easily, much more easily done by doing this. Since I'm not going to build anything behind that area. All right, and we need more belts. Hey guys, thanks. Thanks a ton. Now, we have this wood processing machine, which I think 
I can probably put it here for now. It's not really that critical at the moment. All we need to do is choose this thing and it's going to process it into bits of wood for us. Now we do need coal for this or something. I'm not going to use my um, my precious wood. <laughs> we don't have a lot on this map and it's going to be a while before we can get to the greenhouse or uh, research the greenhouse and build it ourselves. So let's go down here, grab some more coal. And I forgot to grab the, the iron as well. Sorry about the darkness again. We'll get it fixed soon. All right. Why is it not? Okay, I guess it just has enough. It's interesting. All right. Many belts. Let's make more belts. And as soon as we get the ability to automate things, i.e. make assembly machines, we're going to get uh, the rest of the stuff sorted. We're going to have automatic, you know, phone pole making things or tele uh, power pole making items. Did I get... Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used up all the coal. No. All right. It'll be fine. We're good. Just pretend it didn't happen. It'll be fine. There we go. We're over here already ready. Can even string this uh, belt along back as we go. Let's walk on the belt. It's a little bit faster transport. There we are. Okay. All right, and we have a little bit of extra belt. Let's first of all put the coal in these two guys. All right, and this will go. We do need an inserter. Or two. And we're just going to put this in a chest. Oh, we have chests. All right. Great. In fact, we can have two of these. We'll have um, one inserter t putting in, one taking out. Okay, good. And we're going to put a whole bunch of wood in here because we're going to need a lot of these uh, poles. Okay, great. That's where we want that to go for now. We need to get a little bit more iron, uh, build more belts, and build, of course, miners. Very important to build miners. Okay, you guys can go there, please. Let's start building the miners that we need for this whole situation. I know, handcrafting green circuits is not great, but we need automation, automation first. <laughs> we have to have automation. It's like, oh... But yes, yes, we must. We must have automation. And we'll get these guys on the run here shortly. But uh, while we're waiting for that, let's just go ahead and refill these guys. Okay, that one is done too. Oh, don't have enough coal. It's okay though. It's okay. We're just running by and getting all the things. Okay, I'm gonna grab this wood so we can make more power poles. Okay, great. I'm gonna use this whole string down here. Nope, don't, don't do that, please. Like, let's just align it. <laughs> We'll have one square thing in the factory. <laughs> we don't know about anything else though. Okay, and I ran out. All right, let's cancel the rest of these guys for now and get some miners being placed down. Let's go here, then this one goes there. Space goes here. Now this is going to be way overkill for this situation, but it's okay. Oh my god, I need more belt. Oh, no, no wood. No wood crafting. Not allowed. We draw the line. No, no. Thankfully, I have some handy, helpful robots. That are mostly helpful anyway. Good. Good, 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 good. 
All right, so we have the basics of power sorted out, which is great. Of course, we don't have any of the other smelting going on, but that's all right. We will get there. We need to focus on getting some red science so we can finally start researching stuff. All right, iron, always the king of materials. Now, we need to start growing this Fawoge stuff, um, and to do that, we need some soil. That's one of the first things that we're going to do is uh, get the soil extractor running. And for now, we can use like one of them. Now, the plan is to have the bus <clears throat> going horizontally to the right. Uh, many processes are going to need water, so this could be a good starting point. Um, we're going to try to have the expansions uh, on one side of the bus and then be able to expand the bus downward in the other side. So I think we'll have the assemblies up top and, um, but how are we gonna do this? Okay, so we have one power thing here. We could have more power up here if we wanted to. And I'm thinking about putting the, or you know what, we could put the smelting columns this way. That would be all right too. And this map does have more water on it. I saw from the terrain uh, generation preview. So I think we'll have assemblies going vertically and then the bus moving horizontally. That's the idea that we're going for at the moment. Oh dear. Now see, this does not work that well. We should have belts going on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, somehow that didn't work. Oh, wow, look at all these trees. Holy fuzzy cats, there's a lot of trees. Oh my god, there's the whole, there's even some like weedy looking ones here. It's gonna take a while to clear this. Thank goodness I have robots, hooray. We're getting alerts though for them. Okay, I'm gonna start off by putting these soil extractors up here somewhere. Let's make two for now. And yes, they do actually use burner miner drills. That's an interesting way that this mod has of, um, it allows you to recycle those things with various machines made with burner miners. Okay, come on guys, keep on going. I'd really like to put the bus kind of through here, but this is like straight in the middle of the forest. Man, oh man. I thought this was just grass, but no, it is not. It is filled with dense trees. Well, not that dense. It's factorio standard wise. This is not dense, but it's enough to, to make one pause and feel slight annoyance. That's for sure. I should have chosen less density on the trees, but starting out as I did with knowing how my test game went, it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, we should, we should really do that. Okay. Um, we'll just start over here. <laughs> And so soil extractors take water and they output soil. Uh, so we're gonna, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this kind of a method of joining. We're gonna put a splitter, oh, oopsies. Splitter here and then have this going to join the bus down there. Okay, let's get the second one up, there we go. We need to make lots of pipes and one offshore pump for now. And of course, get the uh, let's have our bots keep on farming this stuff while we're waiting for these things to craft. Keep on going stuff. There we go. Yeah, it's really hard not having any assembly machines. Normally, they're so easy to get. You just handcraft red science and you're all good. But uh, <laughs> in this in this game, you don't even have the materials for red science. This this is the red science beacon. It's called Science Pack One. Uh, you need Fawoge substrate, which we're gonna make the Fawoge. It's kind of like mushroom looking stuff, and then we need to um, convert it to the substrate via a um, assembly machine. Let's go pick up some more iron while we're there, and we can pick up coal as well here. But because those Fawoge plants take forever to grow, uh, we're gonna let them build up and grow. Um, and and in that time we can build our smelters and things like that. Okay, we have plenty of this. Gonna have plenty of copper here shortly. There we go. 
Hey guys, how you doing? Is life okay for you guys? No, not really. Okay. Yeah, if only there were such things as like a RoboPort startup thing and and you could put a couple of chests to collect materials and that would be so nice. Uh, anyway, right, what do we got here? We have plenty of wood being made, which gratifies me to no end. Um, right, we need our pipes as well. Regular pipes. Okay, you guys do that stuff. Have fun. I'm going to connect these guys up together. And I think we'll just go across here. See where we can put this pump. Okay, it has to be over here. I thought that might be too small. It looked kind of small. Okay, we have water. Now we just need um, electricity up here. Let's collect robots while we can. Well, oh, we need to probably, yeah, just make more of these guys. Um, let's see. I'll, I think I'll put this to the left. Take this like this way. Okay, good. Fantastic. We now have soil being made. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. And my bots are slowly, slowly getting stuff done. This is another reason why I wanted both of the bot mods, the early game bots, uh, is because it, you know, these guys are taking forever to do stuff and they're doing a good job, but I would like some nanobots to help speed up the process. All right, so, oh, I forgot to choose a recipe. There we go. So we now have soil. And one of the things that I would like to do is actually uh, not this. Uh, I forgot that I would like to put it in a box, like a buffer chest. Yeah, we need a buffer chest for this, for sure. And at the moment, we don't really, we don't actually need to have this on a belt, I don't think. Do we? Do we need it on a belt? I don't think so. Uh, let's just see. I think it's just for the... Actually, I'm not sure. Let's look. Um, all right, we need 300 soil to make this thing. So we need to have... I think we'll probably choose to have, like, I don't know, five of them. Because they really take a long, long time to craft things. Let's just go ahead and grab some of these extra trees here. So this is going to be our building area. So this is going to be good. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the liquid portion of this game, of the mod, is very extensive. And uh, we'll make you twitch if you haven't seen something like Bob's or Angel's. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, there we go. Plenty of processes if you like complex things. There's plenty of that to go around. All right, we are going to start the bus. So let's just start like this, and I need to make more belts. And we need to make the Fawoge plantation. <laughs> let's go. Okay, I have 124 soil now. It's just a matter of getting this all together. Come on, we need this. Here, I'm going to take this one off for now. So I don't have to keep on getting that going on. But yeah, we're going to start off with a standard bus design of four lanes together. And I don't think we're going to compress all materials with the other mod. Okay, so this is going... Oh my gosh, yeah, this is just too slow at the moment. Okay, so we can now make one plantation. Yeah, we really need uh, several more inserters for this whole situation. I could, I could put them here. Eh, we'll leave it. I just have to remember that they process pretty fast. So one of the things about this mod that I'm not that crazy about is there's a lot of these machines that say, oh yes, the recipe is two seconds. Well, this is clearly not two seconds. The thing is they have the crafting speed on the right of 0.3. 
So when you're calculating ratios, if you choose to do that, I don't know how many how many ratios I'm going to calculate personally. Probably not that many, to be honest. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, be aware of this. All right, now these guys, what do they need? Okay, here's the Fawoge. They need only water. Okay, so they don't even need soil, which is good. And um, let's make another one. And we're going to get our... liquids here. I think hmm, could have uh, one lane, one section of bus and then a liquid section and then another section. I'm not quite sure though how I want to do this. Let me get out a blueprint and I know we'll need several sections of the bus. So let's get this one. That's 16 lanes. That's okay for now. Actually, it would be better if we had some water coming in on this area here. If only because it's, uh, it's right next to the water. Right next to the water. All right, let's get this offshore pump. I want to get more of the soil. Yeah, it's definitely filling up these things. We need a... Um, the uh, fast inserter and maybe it's actually a better idea to put this stuff on the belt and then have a, um, a side thing like a splitter which I can't build because I don't have the tech yet <laughs> okay we'll, we'll get that in a second we'll get that we'll get it it'll be fine we'll just let it collect within the machine until we can get it there we go oh look at that it's gonna be a perfect spot for the water pump. All right, and our Fawoge can start growing. I know it sounds like a funny name. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's it look, they look kind of like mushrooms. Now, can I walk through these buildings? Yes, squeak through. Thank you very much. It should be there, maybe. There we go. These guys are going to output onto belt. I'm just putting them toward the end of the belt because um, so they have extra belt storage space. Oopsies. All right. So we got stuff going. Awoge Plantation. 1.8k water. Takes five seconds to make. <laughs> Times 0.1 crafting speed. <laughs> oh, these are just really, really really interesting. There's many, many grindy things about this game. About this mod set, I should say. There we go. Grab the soil. Get another plantation or so. And I'm just going to copy with a blueprint this whole situation here. There we go. Exactly what I want. Let's have a few of these things. Like six, maybe? All right, and we do need some pipes. This one is gonna be this pipe, cool. Ooh, 12 times pipe, interesting. Uh, and of course, we don't have that end to this, alas. All right. And we have more soil. We will need soil for other things, so don't don't despair on that. For now, uh, let's look at Fawoge and see if it's used for anything other than red science. It's Control E to bring up this interface, then you can search Fawoge. There we go. All right, one recipe is made in the Fawoge plantation. Let's right-click this thingy, and there are four usages. There's Fawoge substrate. Mukmox lard, interesting. You can make it into coal and some aromatics if you combine it with Relesia. Interesting. Okay, so I might put this on the bus. I was just wanting to check and see um, kind of, you know, how much we're going to get there. What, what we need it for and do we need to put it on the bus or should I just do like a local distribution only for making red science packs? That was my thought there. 
Okay, another plantation, please. Let's go grab some more iron. All right. These guys are charging away. Very, using very, very little right now of our resources. This is still going. All right. Yeah, early game in this mod has really very little to do with actually uh, getting science up and running. Um, well, I mean, you know, normally you like rush uh, copper and, and iron. Oopsies, come on. Okay, this is what I want to do. My fingers were getting confused. Which way do we go? We don't know. Uh, and we want to do this too. But this one, there's a lot of growing going on, a uh, lot of preparatory work, as far as I, I, I've seen in early game here. And early game lasts for a long time. Do yourself a favor and definitely get the bot sets, some kind of bots. All right, how many of these machines do we need still? We have one there. Do we still need another one? I guess we do. Okay, I'm tempted also to put a buffer chest on these products. What do we need? Soil. We need soil. Imagine that. Imagine needing soil. Though I have to say, these uh, these machines do hold a fair amount of stuff in them. Okay, so... These guys are going to go. And we need to convert them into this Fawoge substrate. But for that, we also need coke. So we're going to have to start up our... Um, oopsies, that's not the right thing. We need undergrounds. Can I build undergrounds yet? No, I can't. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to have to put down... Um, gonna, yeah, we're going to have to start the chemical stuff going on. So we maybe we should start that over here. So what do we need again for that stuff? Coke, is it? Yes. All right. So let's bring up our little menu here and go for, oh, here we go. We can just click from here to here. Okay. We can, there are two recipes for Coke. Ah, we can either, if we have a high pressure furnace, which I don't think we actually have. Um, yeah. Let's see. Do we have a high pressure furnace? I think, yeah, that's a, that's a higher technology. So we're gonna have to build this other furnace, which is the destructive distillation column. It's a very impressive sounding name. And I think we'll build maybe two of these right now. We're also going to need a um, gas vent, which is pretty important. So let's go and find our uh, stone making area. This is gonna be kind of interesting. Actually, what we could do, let's get rid of this for now. Here's stone. Just gonna put in like a couple of furnaces here. Just very temporary things, just to make stone brick. That's all they're gonna do is make stone brick forever and ever. And I will hand feed them with coal for now. Oh, I, I don't wanna do that. I wanna have a few things of stone here. Get my copper. And we'll just uh, pillage all of this coal from there. I'm just gonna fill them up with a full load of coal each. There we go. Now these guys will get to work making stone bricks because we do need these for the gas vents. All right, let's make a couple of those, like four is good. Sounds good to me. Uh, because these structures, these um, there's a lot of waste product until you get the technology to use it in other stuff. So we're gonna have to use a lot of venting um, until we get to that stage. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I think I would like to have um, kind of a liquid bus maybe running up this way with at least you know basics like water, um, possibly other things. 
and then we'll have more liquids on this line here. But there are a lot of liquids to deal with. So we want to leave plenty of space in this instance. All right, we're going to make coal for now. Coal, gas, right? or do we want to make... That costs coke, so we don't have coke, we need coal. And as you see, this machine has outputs pretty much everywhere. Um, what you need to do is make sure you just use at least one of them to get rid of the waste products. Let's make some pipes here. Now we know we're going to use this stuff. This is, um, <laughs> I forgot the name of it. I think the, the yellow one is, is it coal, or, uh, coal gas or something like this? Let's check. All right, get this, getting coke. Okay, we got coal gas and tar. That's what the green stuff is. This is liquid and this, you do need to know whether it's liquid or gas because the various venting devices or sinkholes will only work with one of them. Like gas needs the, uh, I think it's called a vent, the pie gas vent and tar is going to need what's called a sinkhole where you just dump it into the earth, uh, presumably. Okay, let's put this here. Okay, this is going to be water. This is going to be this stuff. And we may need this stuff later. That's why we're having it on a liquid bus to get stuff going. Now, at the moment, we're not going to do anything with these things. So we're going to vent the gas. And, um, oh, okay. One, two... Okay, same stuff here, please. There we go. And these guys are going to be vented. Like that. I think that'll work for us. And with squeak through, we can easily walk through here, which is very nice. Now, doing the liquids initially is a pain in the socks because there's nowhere to put stuff. So what I usually do is I put a, a vent on here, even though it doesn't work, but it seems to provide extra space for the liquid to go. I know that sounds very peculiar, but that's, what's, that's how it kind of works. Okay. This needs to be that thing... Here we can have splitter once we get to it. One day, one day my splitter will come. There we are. And we have our inserters as well. And this is going to give us Coke. And also other stuff. It's going to give us this iron oxide, which is kind of an interesting product because you can use it for... Uh, making into iron. You can put it in a furnace. You need two pieces per each, which makes it a little bit annoying, but um, you can actually recycle it, which I kind of like that. I think it's neat. Okay, let's get through here. Take these guys onto this side. There we are. Okay, so this should go with the introduction of coal remember these guys do need coal to function how much do they need they need 10 coal for three seconds times 0.7 yeah i think we can get 10 coal in there with just a regular inserter if not we can always uh, buff it a little bit okay and um okay let's move oh we don't have any undergrounds oh this is so annoying to not have like basic items on your bus i think actually i think we'll have this one this one's going to be coal for now there we go. We need, we need things. <laughs> We're going to need this and the belts one. Is it autumn electronics? No. Which one is it? It's for this one. Logistics. Oh, I can't wait till we get to logistics. All right. But first we need this stuff. We need to get our coal moved along here. Belts. Now, like I said, early game in this thing is fairly tedious. It is pretty darn tedious. Here we're going to be... Oh, I hate doing this. But that's what we got. We want to do that there. Let's just do it here, maybe. 
we're going to take coal from this line and just transfer it to this line. I know that looks very strange, but that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, let's go up here. Just, just going to shadow put this down so that my bots can... Oopsies, that's wrong. No! So they can remove any trees. If we go over a tree, they'll automatically take it down. This looks pretty clear. All right, let's go. Man, I was hoping to get closer to red science with this episode, but eh, we'll see. We'll, uh, we will actually get coal. So we could potentially uh, get red science going. Okay, I should gather up some of this coal. Yeah, but in the, in the beginning, we're going to have to mind these things just because they just take so much stuff to do. All right, half there, half here, please. They are processing. Yay, we finally have stuff. And as you see, we have the coke coming out on the line and the iron ore as well. See that little orange bit? That's or iron ore, which we can recycle later. And can we start making stuff? Almost. Uh, flasks, yes. Iron plates and raw wood. Let's pick up the foe, okay? Ooh, we can make two science packs. Fantastic. Oopsies. Yeah, this would put a damper on our plans, wouldn't it? All right. Thank you. There we are. We just carry some of this coal over and make some more product. Yeah, we need a splitter there. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting to that shortly. And here we go. Uh, to kind of let this go, I think we can put this in a chest for now. And we may put, well, actually put it here. And we may even have like a just kind of a, a small buffering system. I, I'm normally not a fan of buffers at all, uh, but in this mod pack, things take forever. They take absolutely forever to do. So it's good to have a little bit of backup. Like for these plantations, I really should have a buffer for that as well. Like here and um, put it in a chest. And we'll have maybe like one row of stuff in the buffer chest. Uh, I can take these guys. All right, I have nine packs. Ooh, and five more. Uh, right, let's get a couple of labs on the way. Like a few. Actually, let's just take one at a time. Uh, let's skip this for now and get them crafted afterward. There we go. This is looking much better. Yep, and soon, soon we'll be able to have our our science going. Come on, labs, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready for you. There we go, our first lab. Now we're gonna set these up probably, eh, probably just over here for now. And um, I'll put half the science in there so we get automation going, yay. We have red science, everyone. This is great. <laughs> And we will get this second lab made. Okay, place that one down here. This is a temporary location for these labs, by the way. Uh, they will be moved elsewhere where we can automate the whole process. Um, but I think we have a pretty good first start here. I think we have a fantastic planet. I love the red color. Um, it's looking really nice. We're getting things going. It's a slow thing, but you know, if you prepare yourself fairly decently like we have, I think it should be just fine. Um, yeah, and in the next episode, I'm going to start building uh, smelting columns, proper ones, so that we don't have to rely on hand carrying all of this ore across. But as you see, those um, those natural products have hugely long crafting times, so it's good to get that all up and going. And soon we're getting automation. All right, and with that, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.